Hello everybody, this is Bboss1997 and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I would like to demonstrate a trembler coil out of a 1920s Ford Model T car. I picked this up recently at a flea market uh, and I knew what it was the second I saw it. So I, I bought it for $25, which I think is a steal for something as old as this and something that was as important as important to the uh, history of automobiles is this. So I'll give you a quick um, lesson on how to hook it up if you ever come across one of these yourself. So let me give you sort of a run around of what it is. This mechanism here is the trembler. This is sort of works sort of like a mechanical bell, an electrical bell, like a, a school bell. When the circuit is complete, the coil inside, which is basically a, a transformer, and has its iron core right here. It just extends all the way through. The iron core sticks out of this side. When it uh, energizes, the magnetic field pulls a little switch mechanism, which switches it off. And therefore, there's no magnetic field left, so it springs back. So it does this oscillation in order to generate a a square wave, no, an, a half wave of DC because these things ran off of DC. It's not unlike a Ruhmkorff coil, if you've ever heard of those. An induction. This is basically just an induction coil. Now there's the trembler. Inside of here there's a capacitor and a transformer. The transformer takes a few volts and steps it up to several thousand, which is, which to do that you need a huge difference in terms of the primary and secondary windings. You also need really thin wire because this generates high voltage at low current so it's actually quite safe to use. People um, in the past have made like electric fences out of these and quack medical devices like electroshock therapy. In fact they were so popular with hobbyists and backyard experimenters that even after the Ford Model T went out of production, they still made these just because they were so popular with hobbyists. So when you get this, you might be confused. You'll, you'll be thinking, okay, so there's three terminals, but which which one does which, which one is which? So basically, the transformer inside is like a normal transformer. It's a primary winding and a secondary winding. The two legs of the primary winding are here and here. The secondary winding has its positive leg right here, but the negative leg is connected to the ref the relative ground or one of these two legs here. So it doesn't matter which which one you connect it to. So all you need is one wire here, another wire here, and a wire coming off of this for your spark gap. It doesn't really matter what in which what polarity you hook it up to, because this was designed to work with both polarities. You can even run it off of AC. Um, the reason that is is because in the Ford Model T, the battery, or DC, was used for starting it up, and after it was started, this ran off of the AC from the alternator. So, let's do a test. For this, I'm using my low-voltage train transformer power supply. I'd, I have it set to a low setting because I don't want to push, push this thing too far. After all, it is pretty old. Okay, well here I'm going to turn it on for a couple seconds to demonstrate the trembler unit, but I'm not actually going to spark it yet. There you go. And you can see the sparks fly from the contactor over there. Alright, now let's spark it. So as you can tell, it's a pretty cool device. Why don't I turn my lamp off so we can... Why don't I turn some lights off so we can sort of see what it looks like in a darker environment. So this does create some nice 
little sparks. Let's try it without the electrode here. The guy at the flea market actually demonstrated it for me to show me, show me that it still worked, and I was impressed. So, I, I like it. Well, so there, there you have it, a trembler coil from the Ford Model T. Not something you come across too often. You can probably get one on eBay for, I, I don't know, I haven't checked. But, you know, I mean, it was, it was a nice little flea market find. So, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you next time. This is Boss 1997 signing off.